little Quanshin UVK6. Don't know if you're familiar with this little radio. They can be had for like 35 bucks. The K5, an older version, which will take the same firmware, which I didn't know until after I ordered it, is only like $30. $5 difference, but it's more bulkier, looks more Chinese. This one looks kind of cooler with the silver metallic and all that stuff. It has an SDR chipset, so it can receive from 18 to 1.3 gigahertz. A whole bunch of different hacked firmware. That's where the magic lies in this radio. I want it to receive single sideband, CW, <laughs> things like that. So anyways, I'll play with it later. Just want to open it up. I'm going to let it warm up to room temp. Mailman just delivered it, and it is freezing cold outside. Ooh, emergency alert. Ooh, long standby time. Ooh. <laughs> Chinese selling gimmicks. High capacity battery. Wireless radio replication. Okay, that might be of interest. Scrambler has no interest in ham radio. Not even allowed. No weather alert. AM, FM. I can't read a lot of those. But anyways. Quan Shang, if I'm pronouncing that. UVK6. Or is it really a K5? In brackets, 98, same model, two different radios, or same radio, different model names. Make any logic with their labeling? Okay, so we got the manual. I already did a quick little unboxing earlier in the video. Got the radio. The radio actually feels very substantial. Feels like I'm holding at least a pound, pound and a half in my hand there. Got the little... Okay, we got a charging cup, an antenna, looks like a belt clip, and it looks like probably one of these little ear pieces. I don't know whoever uses those things. I have a collection of them somewhere. Okay, I don't see any power buttons to turn it on. Exit, D, that's the light up there. Bell clip just slides in. Not entirely grippy, but not slippy either. Wasn't for this texture, you'd really lose your grip on it, I think. Let's rotate the dial, see what happens. Welcome, channel mode one. Channel mode one. Menu. Menu, okay, that's a menu. Cancel. Cancel. Two, three, four, five, menu. Oh, back to the menu. How do Ansel. I do that? Four, five. How do you go to A and B? Band? One. Nope. I guess when all else rails fails, I should read the manual, huh? One, four. Six, Six, five, two, two, zero. Looks like I'm just trying to put it in the memory. Menu. Come on, how Ansel. do I get a VFO mode? I don't see anything for VFO mode. Okay, push and hold that, turns the light on. That breaks the squelch really good. Headphone, microphone, USB-C charging, that's an advantage to this thing. Menu. Come on. Step, high. Way to get to menu. Busy lockout. Confirm. Cancel. Menu. 
memory channel channel 5 how do we do that memory okay. channel oh come on how confirm. do we change this confirm how do we Cancel. get I don't know gonna have to hook it up to the programming software and figure this damn thing out read the manual I don't want to read the manual can you tell I'm stubborn Okay, I got the chirp software with my FTDI, whatever the hell the cable is, made for Windows 11, 10. And it's showing some frequencies already programmed into there. Let me see if I can change them and write them back. Got it going to the radio. However, I don't see anything happening on the radio. It shows that it's writing to the radio other than the display coming on, so I just hit it. Okay, so I don't know if I showed you, but I programmed in my all-star node frequency, Killington 8A, Equinox 2 meters, and Rutland 045, and I just talked to Shane on Killington 8A, which is a 2-meter repeater, and this thing is wicked hot, man. Battery life's only about 50%. I didn't charge it before I did all this testing, so... I'm going to undo that little port, that little USB-C charger thing should be in there. I'm going to hook it up to the computer cable. I use to charge my cell phone and my tablet. And yes, there we go, USB-C. When it's charged, maybe we'll proceed with more of this video. Okay, that's a neat little indicator. I've got the USB-C charge in the side. The blue LED light comes on, so we'll report back. Changes colors when it's fully charged. Maybe it'll go green, yellow, red. Who knows with these Chinese radios? The color you and I would think for one specific thing, they don't necessarily think of. They use something totally different. Okay, I got the Quanshang UVK6. The HF mode, you have to basically press F5. Push to talk, enter in 018 asterisk 000, and then I'm in scrolling up. Trying to find some activity in PC. Oops. Focus, camera, focus. Now oh, maybe I'm too close. It's in upper sideband mode. This thing's on the bottom of the screen. I'm not sure what they mean. I lowered LMA from 4 to 1. PGA is 4. IF is 0. I believe that's the intermediate frequency. I'll leave that alone. So if we push the up button, keep tuning across the band until we find something. I only have the rubber ducky stock antenna on here, so I'm not sure I'll hear anything. Especially in HF where a rubber ducky makes no sense, but... Anyways, it's working. I just got to learn the software. Not the most easiest, and if we key up... It won't key up. There we go, there's a spectrum bar graph. Something spiking at 18900. There we go. Now we're back to my regular memory channel. You see that it had a mic gain, and then it shows me the symbol of the repeater 59 plus 34. So anyways, there you go. Some more helpful info on the Quan uh, Sheng UVK6. Okay, sounds like I'm picking up a CW beacon of some sort. I'm hearing the tones beep, beep, beep. Unless it's center mod somewhere. Should ID, but upper sideband should pick up a CW signal. Just got it hooked up to about a 20 foot piece of uh, random wire wrapped around my bedroom. Okay, I found my adapter cable. 
goes up here, and then I took some of this galvanized wire, built a little bit of coil, about five, six feet of wire after it. Just kind of like listening here around uh, 10 meters. Every once in a while, I'm only about three quarters of a mile from WSYD 1380 AM. I think they put out like 5,000, 10,000 kilowatts during the daytime and 5,000 a night. <laughs> and uh, I'm picking up some RF overload. That's what happened when I had an RTL SDR dongle. It just got overloaded. I did order a little adapter that goes in the top and one of those uh, CD BNC adapter antennas. Um, so we'll see if that makes any difference in my improvised antenna. But the inductance I have in here wound not perfect. Should be sufficient for at least 10 meters, maybe down to 20. I just don't think it's uh, picking anything up. Maybe I need to look another oh, I heard something now you got me on that one anyways I'm about ready to give up I'm just gonna wait for that uh, antenna will come in the mail and uh, I don't know they did just sell this thing off uh, as a novelty item. So something just happened there. Picked up some RF. I don't see my all shed maybe going off, so I'm not sure what uh, went across the receiver. And I'm not sure how to get a finer tuning set than the uh, one tenth of the PC, whatever the hell can I have it on. So, anyways, I can't do any better than that. Sounds like there's a way to reduce the static. Underneath that static, I'm hearing some more scope. Got it, got it. Get, get. I can't make it out. Too much static in this thing. I have no idea what these settings do. Start increasing. I'm not sure if changing the IF, which is intermittent frequency of the receiver, did anything. I'm not sure if those are just birdies. The shame KC1CVT says there's activity in 28490. Let's get up to 2490. That was three hours ago, so I don't know if the activity is still going to be there or not. I just hear a heterodyne. Anyways, we'll also play with this one further. This is the Quansheng UVK6. Cool little radio. I gave it an Exer. I can't remember how it's pronounced. 
mod in here now, or I can upload the IJV. I have uh, 2.616 six something software into it. The problem is I live three quarters of a mile from a very high power radio station. WSYB and uh, WJER, something like that. Uh, every 25, every 50, 100 KCs, all I'm getting is either the AM or the FM music out of the radio stations. So the SDR chipset in this receiver, like an RTR, RTL SDR dongle I had a few years ago, is getting overloaded. It's just not sense enough to filter that out. And the little HF receiver for me just doesn't work. It's too much. So anyways, I paid 35 bucks for it. Tell me what software you want. I'll ship it to you for, say, 30 That includes shipping and tracking and insurance. So want to save a little money on one, get one already modded. You tell me which one of the two firmwares you want. I'll load it up and mail it to you. You send me the money via PayPal first. Anyways. Maybe somebody's interested, but just doesn't work where I live, and I'm disabled. And the few and times I'm going to go out into the woods and the wilderness to use it away from the radio station, but be once in a blue moon, so it really doesn't serve any purpose for me, sadly. Mm -hmm.